Hi guys, I'm Tiana Michelle and welcome or welcome back. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I get my super thick hair into a long, sleek, braided ponytail. So I'm starting off on stretched hair. This was an old flexi rod set that I brushed out and I'm just putting my hair into a side part and then I'm gonna begin lightly detangling my hair so that it's a little bit smooth before I begin the process of putting it in a ponytail. In order for me to achieve sleek ponytails, I have to work in sections. So I'm just sectioning the front of my hair off. And then I'm going to take some of this gel that I have left over. It's the only thing that I have in my cabinet. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that and start applying it to the back of my head. Then I like to take my detangling brush and brush over the top of my hair just to make sure that everything is detangled at my roots. I go over my hair again with a fine tooth comb. I'm sure to be extra gentle and using the detangling brush first makes the process a lot easier. And lastly, I'm just wrapping this ponytail holder around loosely so I can move on to the next section. And as I move up my hair, I'll just be repeating the same steps. And now instead of using a ponytail holder, I'm just gonna use a butterfly clip because my hair is getting a lot thicker as I'm moving up. And now after all that work, I can finally put my hair in a ponytail. I want a low pony, so I'm just gathering my hair down at the base of my neck. And then I'm just going over it again with a brush. I'm taking two ponytail holders and I'm going to wrap this ponytail holder around twice. I like to keep my hand wrapped at the base of where I want my ponytail to be while I take my other hand and pull my hair through the ponytail holder. This prevents a hump from being at the back of my hair, my hair getting loose again because this is just too exhausting to have to do again. Here I'm just smoothing my edges, which I don't understand what I'm doing because I'm gonna have to do it again towards the end of this style. And if you look behind my ear, that piece of hair always goes down like that. So I have to smooth it back up into the ponytail. I'm tying my hair down so that the top can begin to set and stay smooth. And while my hair is in my hair tie, I'm going to get my braiding hair, which I'll be using the Rasta Offrey 1B30, and I believe this is like 54 inches. I'm only going to use one bundle because I don't want the braid to be super thick. So I'm just taking one of those bundles and I split it into three pieces. Splitting my own hair into three sections because I'm going to be doing the feed-in method. This is my first time doing this and I'm not going to lie, it was super hard and I had to restart this a lot of times. So this part isn't really a tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing. I just kind of watched Miss Vaughn TV's tutorial and followed that. So I'm just taking my index and thumb and feeding that in. I don't know how to even explain this. I don't know what I was doing. I actually tried the rubber band method that Tierra Walker used in her video and the feed-in method 
For me personally, the feed in method is worth learning if you want to achieve this style and you have stupid thick hair. Uh, I think it was just me, but the rubber band method, it was just not cute on me at all. And the funny thing is this video actually started out with me doing the rubber band method and it was just so atrocious that I was like, no, I learned the feed in method. Cause I was like, I'm still going to get this video out. <laughs> But if you're trying to learn how to do feed-in braids, definitely watch Miss Fawn TV's tutorial. It was super helpful. Now that I have added all three pieces in with my own hair, I'm just going to keep braiding down with my hands behind my back until I can't do this anymore. This is the point where it's beginning to get increasingly difficult, so I'm going to turn to the front and finish the braid. I'm making sure that I am trying to tuck my in so that they don't pop out of the braid and this hair doesn't get that tangled but it was starting to at the end so I just took my brush to go over it really quick and I didn't have any other issues after that. I'm stopping a few inches from the bottom and applying a rubber band so that I can roll my ends later. But now I'm just gonna go back and smooth my hair. I knew it was going to start to pop up again because that braid was a workout. So I'm just going to smooth my hair back down, redo my edges. While I'm doing this, I have a pot of water boiling on the stove so that I can dip my ends after I take some small gray perm rods and roll the ends of the braiding hair. I'm just using three perm rods and you don't have to do this step. You can leave the ends straight and just braid all the way down if you want to, but I want it to curl the ends because I think this is gonna be super cute. So now that I've rolled my ends, I'm just gonna dip them into the hot water. I think for like 20 seconds, I'm not really sure. But yeah, after I dip my ends, I'm just gonna squeeze out the excess water. And then once I take the rods out, this is how it looks, super cute and this is how it looks i think it looks pretty darn good for this to have been my first time doing feed-in braids i really like this style i think it's great for when you're trying to stretch out your wash day but let me know what you guys think down in the comment sections give this video a thumbs up and remember that your support helps me out so much more than you know especially as a smaller and newer channel if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys all in the next video Bye bye